So this video is going to be about hydrogen bonds. So hydrogen bonds are one of the most important uh, molecular interactions that we see in biological systems. They're important in holding our DNA together, they're important in holding our protein together, um, and even more importantly, they are very involved in giving water its properties that allow it to facilitate life. So for a hydrogen bond to actually take place, we need two things. So firstly, we need one atom that has a hydrogen, hydrogen attached to an electronegative atom like oxygen, nitrogen, or fluorine. Secondly, in our other atom, we need to have um, uh, something that's called a hydrogen bond acceptor. So that can also be an oxygen, a nitrogen, or a fluorine. So for an example, I'm gonna use a molecule of water. So water has an oxygen attached to two hydrogens. So that meets our first requirement uh, with hydrogens attached to an electronegative atom. And we're gonna show this hydrogen bonding with another water molecule. And the second water molecule also fulfills our requirements because the second molecule has an electronegative atom to accept the hydrogen bond, which is our oxygen. So like I talked about in the video on covalent bonds, the covalent bonds in a water molecule are polar covalent bonds. So we know that our hydrogen molecules are partially positive and our oxygen atoms are partially negative. So when this happens, we have a unique situation where now these two molecules that were originally the same are able to interact with each other because they have portions of them that uh, have opposite charges. So now this positively charged hydrogen atom has a way of interacting with this negatively charged oxygen atom. And this interaction right here is a hydrogen bond. So something that's super important to remember about hydrogen bonds is that they're very weak. So they're one of the weakest kinds of molecular interactions. So individually, this bond is very easy to break, but when you have a large number of hydrogen bonds, then that uh, provides some stability for that molecule. And so we see that in our proteins and our DNA molecules that have several hydrogen bonds and that helps to keep them stable. But all of those hydrogen bonds are gonna be between a molecule with a hydrogen attached to an electronegative atom, such as oxygen, nitrogen, or fluorine and a second molecule that has an electronegative atom that can accept that hydrogen bond and that um, atom would need to be either oxygen, nitrogen, or fluorine again. I hope you found this video really helpful. The concepts and information presented in these videos will be true regardless of what biology course you're taking. However, the material we covered in this video is specifically referencing material covered in Campbell Biology's 11th edition. Remember that if you are an enrolled Baylor student, we do offer free tutoring on the first floor of the Sid Richardson building, and you can schedule a free 30-minute appointment to have one-on-one -on -one tutoring online, or you can stop by during any of our business hours. For more information about the services we provide, you can go to our website at www.baylor.edu tutoring. Thank you.